Hello everybody and uh, welcome to my 75th VBA 2010 tutorial. Uh, this tutorial is going to show you how to insert new records into your database. Uh, so uh, I'm just going to amend my one that I did where the workbook opens. Um, so first thing I'm going to do is get rid of that. Um, and so I'm going to be working in this section. So we've already loaded in our user's username and user ID uh, from the user's table. I actually only really want the username. Uh, and then I'm going to put uh, an if statement in here. Uh, and it's going to say if rs.record set equals zero, then uh, and if so what we're going to do in here is say if it can't find the user in the table that's opened up the workbook it's going to ask them to supply their name so we want to put dim uh, users name as string and then users name equals input box and uh, please advise your name uh, and then once they've given us the name we're going to write another sql string so the s uh, we're just going to use the same one as before so sql str equals insert into um, that's with capitals and then users uh, and then we need to put in open brackets and then we need to put our field name so user id comma user name and then close bracket and then we type values open bracket uh, and then these values that we put in here need to correspond to the order that we put in our field names in here uh, and so we'll put in our user id which is going to be uh, a string so we use apostrophe and then ampersands environ bracket username uh, and then let's go down onto a new line say ampersand underscore new line uh, and let's just say the proper bit so I like to have all my uh, speech marks in line with each other because I'm a bit fussy like that uh, and then we want to put a closing apostrophe so the username will be closed in the apostrophe and then we want to put a comma and our next value which is going to be the name so that's going to be uh, and again an ampersand and users name uh, and then another ampersand and our closing apostrophe and then a closing bracket to signify the end of the values and then our closing speech marks to signify the end of the SQL string um, and I'm just going to message box that SQL string out onto the screen so you can see it without all of the VBA code in it um, and then we're going to insert it into our table so to do this we use our DB uh, con connection object and put dot execute and then SQL str so we don't need a record set for this uh, we're literally just executing straight from our database connection uh, and then let's press that uh, and then uh, let's just print uh, let's just leave it at that so that's our full code uh, so let's press play now 
uh, and something's going wrong. So let's go. And it doesn't like it. Uh, it's because I put record set rather than record counts, which was a bit noobish. Right, let's start record counts. Let's play this, and nothing's going to happen because I'm already registered in my users table as a user. So let's delete me from the users table, so I'm no longer there. Uh, and let's just uh, compact and repair the database because I've deleted some records. Uh, and then come back into our code and press play now. So this is when the workbook opens, so play. And it's going to ask me to advise what my name is. So then I can fill in my name and press OK. Uh, and then it's going to run this SQL string. So you can see what it looks like now. So it's insert into users and then the user ID, username, and then values, and then the values that we want to put in there. So press OK. And then now when we come across into here and then just reopen this, and you notice that I've been added in there as a new record. Um, and so that is how you use the insert. Um, you can leave these out if you want to insert all the values in a table. Uh, but I'd recommend not doing it because doing it like this, if you want to change the order of your fields around at a later date, so we move them around like that it's still going to work. It's not going to affect the insert in, into the table because it's doing it by fields rather than by location. Um, so I definitely recommend using the field names rather than leaving them out. Um, and that's going to be it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to uh, use the uh, delete statement. So thanks for listening and I hope to catch you soon.